Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video. In this week's video we're going to be taking a look at this frame from Fox Ear. Now just to be 100% uh, transparent, Fox Ear have sent me this, I haven't bought this with my own money. Uh, but the, I haven't seen this video before it's released and they haven't had any say on what goes into the video. So I think what we'll do, we'll go down to the bench, we'll open the packaging up, take a look at what you actually get inside the box, uh, put the frame together and then I'll give you my thoughts and what I think about it. So let's go on. Right, so let's go, let's have a look. Now this is the uh, Aurora freestyle frame, you can see from the, uh, the label there, it's the uh, 5 inch Aurora Pro. And this is the fluoro green one. Alright, take the packaging off. And the first thing you'll notice there, it's actually in a nice little plastic box. Now a lot of frames you'll see usually come in, uh, you know, like plastic Ziploc bags, which is a bit shit. At least with this, you've got something you can uh, actually use afterwards. So that's uh, one point to Fox Ear straight away. Right, we'll crack her open. Battery straps, your standard thing. Bit of battery mat. Now this is another point for Fox Ear. These should be standard with every frame you get. There's nothing worse than buying uh, a frame and then having to either print your own stuff because you didn't realize you need it or having to wait and buy it off eBay Yeah, TPU parts should be standard in my opinion. So yeah another really good point for Fox here there so you get the uh, GoPro mount That's a SMA and crossfire or receiver any receiver mount you actually get some feet skids and a nut and a front bumper and you've got your uh, hardware pack there that looks like your standoffs, your screws. And another another point to Fox here, these are actually motor wire protectors that go on your arms. Oh. And I think the rest is just your standard uh, vacuum pack frame pieces. And now by the magic of editing, we'll get these bits out. Well there we go, there's our frame pieces out. A couple of little things I do like, just while I was unpacking it there. I actually really like the Fox Air logo in the camera plates, I think that's quite cool. Now if I remember rightly, the uh, base plate's 2.5mm thick, the top plate's 2mm thick, and your arms are 5mm thick. And I've got to say, the actual quality of this carbon feels really nice, there's no sharp edges, it's all lovely, uh, lovely and smooth. Uh, I think it's T700 grade carbon, if I'm wrong I'll put a little thing at the bottom of the screen here now. But yeah, it looks looks a very, very nice frame. The only sort of downside, I would say really, is most modern frames tend to be a, a split deck design. You know, you have two bottom plates essentially, with your, your front bit being a little bit thicker, and then your, your back, your sort of middle plate being stepped up with your arms squashed in between them. Now this is just a two-piece design. It looks like your, uh, your arms and all that go sort of in between here like that. We'll have a look at that when we get it together. So not a massive downside, you know, some people maybe prefer this style of frame. Well, I do really prefer the uh, split deck design. Now mounting wise, it looks like you've got both 20x20 20 and 30x30 and the same in the back there. Now again, not to be, not to be too negative, uh, the 30x30 30 30 mounting does look like it's stuck out quite a bit from the outside of the frame. Now if you're only going to be running a Vista using 20x20 20 20 mounting, I think you should be alright there. But if you are using an air unit or even uh, HD0 Freestyle VTX or something like that. Or even the walk snail, now I'll come to think about it. They are going to be hanging out slightly and slightly exposed on the back. So, right, we'll get this frame put together now. We'll show you what it looks like then. And there we go, there's the finished frame. Now, I'm limited in the space so I can wiggle this around in front of my camera here, but yeah, I've got to admit, it is a good looking frame. I think that yellow TPU really does set it off. I think it makes uh, quite a bit of difference. Like I said before, there's no 
huge sort of adv uh, advances in technology you know it does have some nice features don't get me wrong i love the shape of the top plate makes it great that especially there and there for getting uh, your battery straps on which i think is really good and like i said including the tpu in the actual packaging with the drone thing uh, with the frame makes a massive difference i think it's something all companies should do i mean the stuff costs probably pence for them to produce but it does make a lot of difference well, there we go that's the fox a or a five inch pro and i think you'll agree it's a good looking frame like i say one thing i'm very up about is the tpu that comes with it i know I banged on about it in this video but i do think it's something that a lot of uh, frame manufacturers should do it saves a lot of hassle for people like me you know I'm, i don't have a 3d printer but yeah so i'm going to decide what parts i'm going to put on it now and what to make out of it i don't know whether to make it into a just a little cruiser or a bando basher or what but when I do decide, I'll make a video about it and let you know. So if you want to see that, please think about subscribing and hitting that bell to be notified when we add new content. Uh, I'll put links down below where you can get this frame from. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about giving it a thumbs up. And like I said, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time.